Hi, I uh, saw your video as a response to Tech Freak's video. Tech Freak is a good friend of mine, a uh, really smart guy, and uh, I enjoy uh, talking with him a lot. So I watched your video, and uh, I had actually posed the same questions that you posed in your video about a year ago, and uh, did some research hoping to find um, some individuals who were um, able to find a, um, a marriage between uh, theism and um, science. Uh, didn't find too many that uh, actually were able to um, marry the two, but there were uh, great examples of people who were able to make that disconnect between two different mechanisms at, uh, at work at the same time. Uh, and in your list of people, I had, I had come across those names, but I was surprised in your list not to hear the contemporary name of Ken Miller, who is a um, biology professor at Brown University. He's also a practicing Roman Catholic. Uh, he was also very instrumental in the Kitzmiller versus Dover case uh, with the Kansas uh, School Board, and he championed evolution over uh, intelligent design. There's several videos on YouTube of uh, of him explaining that case and uh, how he just totally destroyed uh, the Discovery Institute's uh, attempt to bring creationism uh, back into the schools. Uh, he's written a book called Finding Darwin's God, uh, which he uh, explores in depth um, the way that these two um, concepts work together. And um, it's, a, it's a really good work, uh, read. If you look up his lectures online, there are several YouTube videos of his lectures. Uh, not only just a brilliant man, but uh, also very easy to follow, very easy to listen to. Uh, very entertaining speaker, so uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy um, uh, looking into that. It's Kenneth Miller, and um, look him up in case you just forgot to mention him and you know all about him. Um, enjoy. <laughs> 